Hi again! <laughs> uh, hi, it's Anna and I would love to um, just let you know what's happening because I am moving to Barcelona in six days and I would like to just give you kind of picture what are uh, the steps, you know, they can be obvious for me now because it's the third time I'm moving to another country but um, for a person who just is doing this for the first time it can be really confusing because you have to do like a hundred things and it's just like you don't know which one to do first you know just basically nothing and there is no one really like telling you because probably <laughs> what i experienced at least was my parents telling me what are you doing don't do it you will die somebody will kill you and just buy tickets like with return and I was no no I'm buying one way ticket and I was no way just buy, buy two ways and you will see maybe you can come back later and it doesn't help because it just makes you freak out even more so definitely um, you should <laughs> definitely you should just like seek guidance from people who actually experienced it and you know I'm 20 I don't I can give you advice on a lot of things but definitely this one I have done and I now I feel better moving because I did follow some steps and it made me a bit uh, more confident because in uh, reality you can't you can't really predict everything and you can't really prepare everything so also this is the reason why i am also a bit scared and i'm not sure what will happen i don't know spanish and actually um, english and german i knew well uh, when i was moving so it's another thing that scares me a little bit but uh, i feel this like calmness in myself that it will be okay and I can just go through anything and the worst thing that can happen I am buying you know the return ticket and this is it like just just go and see what will happen and try to enjoy the process and if it doesn't work out that hasn't happened to me yet but who knows maybe this will be the first time <laughs> um, then just like you know just try to enjoy it a little bit and actually this is the first time when I enjoy it the most because the first time when I was moving from Poland to London it was just insane I didn't know what I was doing I was just like crazy crazy mess and I remember I was packing until maybe like 5 a.m. I was changing things I didn't even know what to put in the suitcase I didn't know like I found out that the suitcase can be only like 20 kilograms and I packed like 30 and I had to really, you know, it was just crazy and I wish I could watch this, <laughs> this and another video and another another one that I will be filming for you guys to understand this process and to find peace in it because this is the most uh, difficult thing that when you are in a new situation really overwhelmed you need to have just like basic information that will make you calm because when you will achieve this then you can solve any problem and you can really like find enjoyment and I think I started enjoying London after maybe a month and I started enjoying Berlin after like two months so we will see what will happen in Barcelona. I don't know yet and I'm really excited that we are on this journey together. So maybe some of you move in a week as well, somewhere. And maybe some of you move in a month or in six months. But any of these people can find value in these videos, I'm sure. So basically going step by step what I've done so far. It's very limited things you can do before you are in that country just to let you know you can only do things like so you are feeling good but <laughs> uh, it's more for yourself so when you move there you will have first a week or two a bit crazy so just to be prepared for this as well three weeks before i was about to move uh, i would set up my account on a website that advertises apartments and i wouldn't 
advice to anybody um, to look before that amount of time, like a month, three weeks, two weeks is even fine. But set up an account and it should take you a bit of time to properly express a um, description of your profile, choose the right picture and I will make another video about it because this is quite uh, maybe not tricky but like you want to present yourself in a really good way that you sometimes sometimes we want to you know just like give too much away and uh, you know we want to be funny or whatever and um, the person who is renting the house or the apartment is looking for a certain uh, type of person and they are thinking, you know, in a way that they have this place that, you know, has a lot of value to them. They just have certain things they are looking for and I would say, of course, there are different people, different apartments, blah, blah, but uh, the main core <laughs> is very similar and I noticed that in lots of apartments I've seen and I've talked to a lot of landlords in Berlin and London and now in Barcelona I've just spoke you know exchange messages but I can see the similarities and I can share this in another video um, yeah so basically when you are looking for the apartment you will do the things explained um, there <laughs> and um, yeah so it's like four to two weeks I would say before we move and then I would say so for example now I'm one week before moving so depending on your financial situation and I would predict most people watching this would be students or like young adults <laughs> uh, so yeah basically we know what's our financial situation usually it's not that great to be honest and myself included although I did find some ways to just like be more like mobile with my work so for example i'm filming weddings and uh yeah so i have another youtube channel for this where i have interviews with people and it's just like you have to just think of different ways that you can avoid you know horrible <laughs> situations and i did experience um, really bad situations myself maybe i can do a video about it <laughs> it's not that easy to talk about because like, you know, you, when you move to this another country, you are practicing the language, you are in a, um, not, not such a great situation to be struggling with even more things because you're trying to adapt yourself to new culture, you're trying to meet new people that you've never met before, this kind of, you know, personalities and uh, people with this mentality. So definitely having more and more struggle uh, it's not helpful and uh, this is why you should you should think about uh, your financial situation and how you want to solve this before you move. I know it's not something anybody want to hear because you want to be just like yeah adventure and um, yeah but it isn't just like reality. I avoid the situation and uh, it didn't help me at all. I can recommend you some books and YouTube channels to watch and um, yeah, just like I think I think anybody can uh, help themselves in this area, but uh, definitely we should save money. I know, <laughs> I know it's a bit obvious maybe or um, it's not something you want to hear, but I really saw this in myself when I moved to London from Poland. Definitely the currency changed and also I saw this in lots of people who all moved there So I know it's a common issue. That's why I'm talking about it because if it would be obvious to everybody then like everybody would You know just do the correct things, but Really, uh, I saw lots of people who had bad situations uh, and They could be just like easily easily avoidable but uh, we just don't want to face it because we think we're young and it's not like the way to do it because <laughs> you will have um, you, you will just like have bad memories with good ones when you don't follow some very simple things you can do 
uh, yeah so just like thinking about it before of course for some people some people maybe are doing this but I do realize that majority isn't isn't doing anything about it and uh, yeah just like simple simple things um, so for example the first month you are there you will be um, writing down you should print out some like tables I can I can uh, attach a link in the description that I did for myself <laughs> so basically you will be writing a date and what you spend your money on and how much because especially if you were living with your parents before um, it's just you don't think about it you don't care <laughs> even if you was working before you wasn't really aware of how much you're spending because your parents would cover some of the expenses for you so we just like first month you should or whatever month maybe you moved already and you are struggling in this um, you know in this area then you can uh, achieve a better situation in a very simple um, way and this is it I'm sorry if this is not revolutionary but I swear it will help a lot of people so basically you are writing down the date um, what you bought and how much you spent especially if the currency changes like for me we have in Poland um, currency that's called Zwarte and then you pay in pounds which is 5.6 times more and I'm going to a shop and I see something is like one pound twenty and I think yeah this is great bye 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 and then you don't think you don't realize like you know you start working but you are just like no you don't uh, think about how much you're spending <laughs> so mm, I remember I had a friend who was a bit older and she would go with me to a shop and she would show me what to buy and she would like stop me from buying some things and I know it sounds really bad and um, yeah maybe maybe you don't agree with this now or you don't understand why I'm saying this but after you maybe you're even older than me <laughs> and you think what is this you know young girl talking about but um, yeah just I'm telling you I've seen even people who are 30 and they move um, to London and they really struggle financially because of this reason they don't do this what I'm saying <laughs> so yeah just really basic for a month write down your all expenses and what you will realize it's not like you know in one day you really would buy like maybe big shopping in the shop so just take the receipt and just write the name you don't have to write everything but just like maybe a few things the main things you can write everything that will help you even more but if you're really skeptical about this then just do as little as possible as long as you're doing something in this uh, direction then when you write down everything you have another column that says was it necessary or not and then be really honest with yourself like is this I don't know a little figure of Big Ben necessary to me now <laughs> is this I don't know picture or Starbucks coffee seven times a week all this just like write down yes no yes no really honest with yourself and sum up um, what I spent in the reality, what I spent that was necessary and then just like logically what was not necessary. So this is amount of money you can save but you're not doing this. <laughs> and this is a really time of truth and I really do believe that uh, it's not my idea. Like obviously I've read it in books and maybe it does seem a bit silly to some people but usually these are people who don't do it so sorry even my parents or adults if they did this who complain about you know like struggling with uh, some amount of money like they wish they had some extra money to spend like if they did this for a month they would realize oh shit I can uh, save so much money and I can have so many different things in exchange so it's not like you know obviously you should uh, save also for the future just to have the security of having extra money but uh, you can also save just to have this you know like extra bit 
or that you will actually spend unfortunately if you have limited resources you probably will spend it sooner than later but at least you won't have this like huge struggle and huge stress that you know money is running out you always have extra 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 and even if you spend it for something that's important then you always uh, have you know more than you need and this is the point to always uh, have this situation because I can guarantee you, you will have situations that will surprise you and you won't be ready for, you will be like shocked, something is happening right now, you need money now and what, like what are you doing, where is your money? Obviously I spent it in Starbucks. <laughs> Sorry if this is uh, not something you agree with or something you will do, but I would encourage you to do this because it did helped me enormously and if I started doing this on day one of my living abroad I would have totally different experience although it was still beautiful and like 80% was amazing the 20% was really fucking dark <laughs> so yeah I just encourage you to avoid as much as you can just like think about it seriously don't try to avoid the subject and uh, I know especially young people who just are starting out, you know, on their own, they don't want to realize uh, the reality. And this is just like, this is it. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but it's not funny. In uh, Yeah, just like do it, just try to do it. And maybe in six months you will say, oh my God, thank you, this was so helpful. And I'm so glad I did this. It saved me in so many situations. It's such a simple thing to do. Nothing that, you know, crazy, that's demanding, that, uh, you know, it's nothing really that's like <laughs> clever even. <laughs> but it's a very simple thing you can do and have much better situations. I think I said it many times, but it's really important to me that a person who will watch another videos of mine uh, you know how to find the apartment how to you know find all these things and travel public transport and how to get to know the uh, city how to meet more people how to do anything in Disney countries and I'll also go into detail about each country but I know I want this person also to realize that uh, they always have to think about you know the reality of life first <laughs> because i want this channel to be all about adventures and all about you know being crazy having best memories of their youth but you also really have to you can't avoid this even if you will pretend to avoid it and try to avoid it you won't and the more you avoid this problem the more it will like make your life not <laughs> Not, e uh, not easy, like not even bearable. So just like face it and do simple thing that is, will change your life for the better and you will say thank you or you will think thank you <laughs> after you apply this. Um, yeah, so just maybe this wasn't a fun video, but it's just real, like real life, <laughs> real life problems. Um, yeah, so just thank you for watching and hope you will enjoy other videos more. I'm trying to be really your friend and uh, my mom said this I think a few days ago that real friend will tell you the truth, everything that you um, should consider and uh, this is why you will trust this person more and this is why you will think about it after months and you will find even more value in this message than maybe you find now. <laughs> so thank you so much and uh, yeah, see you in the next videos. Bye, good luck with everything. <laughs>